Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students! Welcome to our Matibay class! Ayan, Ayan. tuloy-tuloy tayo, Ma'am Tintin! Okay! Pabongga ng pabongga, nasa module 15 na tayo, oh, bilis, no? and that is one of my favorite lesson in okay. math. Dahil ba, in... Merong, dahil ba merong word na break, Char? <laughs> <laughs> it is all about defining break even. even. Oh, ang ganda niyan, ang ganda niyan. Ibig sabihin, 24/7 'yan. 7-Eleven 'yun ang pagkakabago. <laughs> okay, so module 15 po tayo because module 14 is your examination. So, defining break even Ibig sabihin yan, walang kita, walang lugi. Yes. Tama? Okay, so parang sakong sakto lang. Yes. Kapag bawi, gano'n. Kapag bawi sa Ilocano. Yan. Okay. And for this module, we have two Wait objectives. Wait lang. Dahil nasabi na natin kung anong break-even, oh, no need no, no, to discuss. discuss. <laughs> so, nasabi mo naman na. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Na-excite ako. First is to divide, define break-even. And of course, the second is to illustrate how to determine break-even point. Yes. Paano nga ba natin malalaman kapag break-even ka? Notes! Okay? Ay, ito na yung explanation. Oh. Sinabi na natin kanina. The <laughs> point at which total fixed and variable cost of a business becomes equal to its total, total revenue money. is known as break-even break point. At this point, a business neither earns any profit nor suffers from oh, loss. Diba? Break-even break point, point is therefore also known as no profit, no, profit point, diba? no loss point, or zero profit point. Sabi nga namin mga anak, when we say break-even, walang lugi, wala din namang kita. kita. Oh, so yes. parang ganun. Calculation of break-even point is very important for business, for every business because it tells business <laughs> owners, tells business owners and managers how much sales are needed to cover all specs, specs, specs. <laughs> As well as variable expenses of the business or the sales volume, after which the business will start generating. But parang basa mo sa nito, Ayan. So yun nga sa haba ng explanation, ang main point mga anak is wala kang lugi, wala kang kita. And sabi jan, it is very important to every business na malaman kung paano ikakalculate ang break even yes. nayon para kahit wala man silang kita at least hindi sila nalulugi. Yeah, parang ano ang idea jan mangkitin? Hindi sila nalulugi. Alam nila yung volume na dapat <laughs> yes. mabenta para makuha ka hindi agad sila, yung unang. Yes. Chaka para hindi sila malulugi. Okay. And, tan -tan -tan -tan, meron pa po tayong isang note. Ayan. Take note, when there is a profit, ibig sabihin, Revenues is greater than variable cost yes. plus fixed cost. Mas malaki daw yung revenue mo kaysa sa variable cost uh -oh. at saka fixed cost. And at break-even point, Revenues is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost. Uh, kung kung magkano yung revenue, parehas. Hmm. Doon kung meron namang pagkalugi, si revenue po ay mas maliit kay variable cost Plus fixed cost. Take note with the sign. Greater than, equal, and less than. At yan lahat, Ma'am Tintin, ay malalaman natin with our examples. Meron pa tayo isang slide. Formulas muna. Ayan, this is our formula. Break-even quantity is equal to fixed cost divided by sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Unit where, ayan, fixed costs are costs that do not change with varying output. Example, salary, rent, building, and machinery. Okay, sales price per unit is the selling price per unit. And of course, the variable cost per unit is a variable cost incurred, incurred, incurred. Incurred. Incurred to create a unit. Ayan. At dahil dyan, let's now proceed with our examples. You run a manufacturing business, okay, that is involved in manufacturing and selling a single product. The annual fixed expenses are 15,000 and variable expenses are 750 pesos per unit. The sale price, the sale price of your product is 15 pesos per unit, okay? Our problem is that solve for the break-even point in units and solve for break-even point in peso. Let's first distinguish the following. Ano pong ating selling price? Ano pong ating variable, ano yung VE, ma'am? Expenses. Variable expenses. At ano pong ating 
total fixed, fixed expenses. expenses. Okay? Based on the problem, okay, our selling price, okay, maliwanag naman po, the selling price is equal to what? 15,000. The selling price is 15,000. Okay? Selling price is 15,000. Dahil sabi niya dito, variable expenses, uh, sale price of your product is 15. Okay, let's continue. Ulitin natin mga anak. Medyo narito si Teacher Jason. Selling price, ba based on our problem, the sale price of your product is 15 pesos. Yeah. So, ang ating SP is 15. 15. Our variable expenses, sabi niya dito, variable expenses is 7.50. 7.50. And our fixed expenses is 15,000. 15, Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Okay, following our formula, we have SPQ is equal to VEQ plus FE. Okay? For, for substitution, our SP is 15Q. Isn't it, ma'am? Yes. Our VA is 7.50Q. Okay? Plus 15K. what? 15,000. Okay? Let's combine like terms. QQ, 15Q. From negative. positive 750, magiging? Negative. Negative 750Q is equal to 15,000. 15, okay? So, 15Q minus 750Q is 750Q is equal to? 15,000. 15, Since Q lang ang ating kailangan, let's divide both sides by? 750. 750. Okay? Cancel yan. Our quantity units is equal to 15,000 divided by 7.50 is equal to 2,000 units. Okay? So, we have 2,000 units para po ang ating break-even point in units. Now, ma'am, this is... Okay, so yung letter A, sagot natin is 2,000 units. How about naman break-even point in Peso. All you have to do is to multiply 2,000, yung units, times 15 pesos, which is the selling price. Okay? Times 15. So, the break-even point in peso is equal to 2,000 pesos times 15 is equal to, ano po yan? 30,000. 30, this is break-even point in peso. While this unit is break-even point in Unit. units. Okay, are we clear, Mang Tintin? Let's have example number. Number two problem is calculate break-even point in sales units and sales dollars from the following information. So since dollars yan, okay, ibig sabihin yan, break-even point in dollars. dollars and break-even point in units. Okay, so we have SP is equal to 15. V is equal to 7 and FE is equal to 9,000. It's very easy. Okay, our exam, our formula, SPQ is equal to VEQ plus FE. SP is equal to 15. Q is equal to 7. Q plus 9,000. 15. Q, let's transpose magiging 7. Q is equal to 9,000 pesos. 15 minus 7 is 8. 8Q is equal to 9,000 pesos all over 8. Okay? Our quantity or break even in quantity units is divided by 8 is equal to 1,125 one. break even point in units. Unit. Okay, pag break even point naman po in dollar, 1125 times 15. Why 15? Because 15 is our selling price. price. So 1125 times 15 is equal to 16,875. This is our break even point in dollars. dollars. Okay, let's have example number 3. In example number 3, Hindi ko siya mahanap na saan siya. Nandito yun. Okay. Charles has developed a new van. Walang S yan. That has a startup cost of 45 million. 
Its new van cost 18,000 to make. If Charles plan to sell the van for 30,000 pesos, okay? How many do they have to sell to break even? Take note, na kapag wala pong inindicate kung ano ang selling price, ano ang variable expense, at kung ano ang fix Ano yun? Fixed cost. Fixed cost. Okay? Take note, lagi pong pinakamataas na value ang fixed, fixed cost. cost. Okay? So, from this problem, ang pinakamataas na value ay? 45, 45 million. million. So, this will be our fixed e. cost or FE, which is 45 million. million. Okay? Aside from that, kapag walang binagay, ang pinakamaliit ay ang tinatawag nating Variable expenses. Variable expenses or VE. Kaya ang pinakamali dyan is 18,000. 18, okay? At ang natitira, obviously, ay ang ating selling, selling price. price. Which is 30,000. Take note, yun pong technique. Kapag sa problem ng break-even, walang binigay kung ano ang SP, VE, at FE at nahihirapan po kayong mag-analyze or mag-identify, take note, that your FE ay laging yung pinakamataas na value at VE ang laging pinakamaliit na value at ang natitira ay ang iyong selling price. Okay, following our formula, we have SPQ is equal to VEQ plus FE. Okay, our SP is 30,000. Q is equal to VE which is 18,000. Q plus 45 million. Nakakasunod bang tin? Yes. Okay, let's transpose 30,000 Q minus 18,000 Q is equal to 45 million. Okay? But 30 minus 18,000 is 12,000 Q is equal to 45 million. Let's divide both sides by 12,000. 12,000 Q. Ang natitira na lamang ngayon, 45 million, 1, 2, 3, divided by 12,000 is equal to 3,750. This is our break even point in units. Units. Ibig so, sabihin, kailangan, kailangan nilang makabenta magbenta. ng 3,750 na van para mabawi, para mabawi nila yung 45 million na puhunan. na puhunan nila. Okay? And to have our break even in peso ba yan? O sige, in peso, all you have to do is to multiply 3,750 times selling price, ibibenta nila ng 30,000. Okay. Isn't it? So, 3,750, 3,750 times 30,000 pesos, that is equal to, dami. 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, So, our break-even point in peso unit is 112,500,000. Million. Million okay? That is all about break-even. Okay, mga anak, kapag may tanong, huwag mahihiyang magtanong kay Teacher Jason. Thank you so much for listening and mag-review po tayo sa ating quiz at nalalapit na exam. Bye-bye ABM students.